Okay, welcome back everybody. Now in this second part of this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the background footage um, from your video if you filmed it on a green screen and how to add another background into it. Um, so the first thing we'll do is we'll go to effects and presets and if you go down to Keen, there's an effect there called Key Light 1.2 drag and drop that effect onto our first video layer there and you'll notice this box comes off comes up sorry um, I'll just drag the playhead to a good spot there now it's much the same as in Premiere Pro it's the screen color here grab the eyedropper and I found it works really good if I choose the light color here and you can see most of the background's been removed I can see a few spots and dots there um, so what I can do is I can um, adjust the screen balance that usually kind of uh, if I up that a little bit it usually starts taking a bit of the green edge away from the fingers and, and all that and look there's a lot more there's a lot more things that you can do with this key light effect um, so really it's just up to you to to experiment with it and see how good you can get it now for the purpose of my video that's good enough for me all right now the background's gone. Now as I scroll the playhead up, we get to the second layer and I've still got the green screen background. Now a nice trick is, because it's basically the same footage, is if I go into my video layer here and click the tab, and in effects I've got key light here. Now if I highlight key light and copy it by holding command and pressing C, and then I might close that layer, then if I highlight this video layer here which is this one if I paste I can just copy and paste that effect straight on top and it'll bring in all the same settings as it as I used on the previous one now you're not seeing the effect take place yet because I've got my background layer still there now if I hide it you can see now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to delete it because I don't want my background layer anymore because I'm going to put a new layer in there so if I scroll through you can see I'm waving goodbye then I've disintegrated but um, now what I want to do is I want to put myself in a new environment so to do that um, back over here in project I'm going to import a, just a still uh, just an image of um, so a science fiction type of a spaceship's interior so look if you can't see project just go into here from effects controls and you'll see project double click and I've got a background picture here of this science fiction type background and it's just a JPEG and I'm going to drag and drop it underneath into my composition okay now that I've got it in my composition what I want to I can go into my back my make sure your background layer is selected um, now look this could be a still or it could be a video as well um, if it's not quite if it's too big or it's not or, or too small what you can do is you can scale it up by just clicking and dragging here now mine's came in come in pretty good but yours might be a bit smaller or a bit bigger look you'd want to get an image that's probably around about or bigger than 1920 by 1080 pixels because that's the size of our composition here anything too small say 500 by 500 pixels or so and when you scale it up it's going to start to look a bit pixelated okay so um, you can always go into your layer into your uh, transform and scale it up or down as you need to you can also change the position of it okay if you need to in there as well up and down left and right and you can also just grab it and move it around. I'm just going to undo that. Now, um, pretty much the only thing I want to do here now is I want to give it a bit more of a cinematic look to it. So, what I'm going to do is you'll notice in a lot of video, video in, in a lot of movies, sorry, that the foreground or the figure is is in clear focus like I am there and the backgrounds kind of blurred all right now at the moment the black backgrounds really sharp so to give it more of a cinematic look so it looks a bit more realistic we're going to add a blur to the background and it's really easy to do let's just go into our background layer select it and again let's go into our effects and presets and let's go to 
blur and sharpen. Now let's just go use our go to blurring technique, which is our filter, which is a Gaussian blur. Click and drag it onto our background layer, and you'll notice in here in effects you've got your Gaussian blur. Okay, I can also use the effects controls up here. Now I can just at the moment it's not doing anything because my blurriness is set to zero and it's the same down here okay you just to note that anything up here is basically the same as down here as well however you've got if you want to animate your effects with keyframing you need to do it in your timeline so I might just um, up the blurriness to say let's go up to 10 and see what that looks like and it's made it a little bit more blurry, so I might go a bit more, 25. Oh, that's a bit too much. I might take it down to about I don't know, 18 or 19. And, and you can also, if you want to see the effect that's taken place, you can see this little effects button here, and it's also up here. And it'll do the same thing. If I click it, you can see the it just it just turns the effect off. If I click it again, it turns the effect on. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that amount of blur because that has now given it more the background and blur. So it's given it what's called a shallow depth of field where the the image in the or the, the figure in the foreground is in focus and the background is blurred. Okay, and that looks a lot more cinematic than what it was. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you now is how to trim your composition up because you'll notice that, um, sorry if I just do that, you'll notice that, okay, I've disappeared and then I've got all this excess footage here which I don't want. I basically want it to end, I don't know, maybe around the 10 second mark. So all I can need, all you need to do is, um, in your timeline here, grab this uh, little slider here and click hold and drag and drag it back down to about the 10 second mark okay then what you want to do is you go into composition and go to trim comp or composition to work area and what that'll do it'll just cut all that excess footage off for you